Hello everyone, welcome to this new Talky Pony video. So today we're gonna talk about the last Mousy Dojo, which was the food one and which was called Aka Profile. So this challenge has been developed by Mini Ruger and this challenge is a community one. If you want to develop your challenge, feel free to contact us. You will see this challenge is mainly called in Node.js and today we will talk about prototype pollution. We're gonna firstly have a look quickly at the setting of the card, but there is nothing super interesting. As you can see, there is a variable called profile containing information about the profile. And yeah, you can see there is myself here. <laughs> For this challenge, we have a blacklist section looking if the underscore underscore proto string is used and if the string is used, it will be replaced with now nah, I don't think so. I'm gonna execute the challenge just to just to have a look at how it looks. So you can see there is basically a website in which we have the profile on some people. So here is the function called get random profile, which is basically taking the profile we saw previously into the sending parts, but this is not a super interesting function. After that, we have the super interesting one called set user properties taking target answers after that we have our user input called profile which is using the function json.parse we will see after this is super important for the challenge i told quickly about the function set user properties and as you can see set user properties is taking the user input we can define before with profile so what this function is doing this function is doing a loop in which for each key of the keys of source there is a condition looking if the type of the key of target is different than undefined and at the same time the key of source is equal to an object so if this condition is valid the key of target will contain the new result of the new execution of the set user properties function. This is what we call a recursive merge. And if this function is not valid, the key of target will contain the key of source. At the end of the code, we can see that we have a try and a catch. So the try is basically doing a check to split properly um, the timestamp to yeah to display it properly. So. This is not super interesting for our exploitation. The most interesting part is into the catch section. If the debug object of app config and the active attribute of debug app config is equal to true, we will have a level of app config.debug.code. So you can easily guess that what we want is to be into this level to have a command injection. Here is the set user properties function we saw just before into the challenge. This is the same one. Um, so I did this example locally to explain you easier how the exploitation of the prototype pollution work. So I define source with a POC, which is defining the object proto with the attribute pwned containing pony. So, in the challenge, we saw that the function json.parse is called, and this is super important in our case, because json.parse will treat proto as a normal key and not as a property. And this is essential to trigger the prototype pollution only when object will be merged. And I'm talking about prototype, 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 but I didn't define exactly what a prototype is. So in JavaScript, a prototype is like a kind of hidden object that every single object inherits from. It creates uh, different properties and methods and more in our case. This diagram is pretty nice to explain easily how it works. It shows that all JavaScript objects inherit from object or prototype through the proto which is right uh, underscore underscore proto with the object using object prototype as the base templates it could seem a little bit hard to understand like that but with my example we will see it's easier to understand when we can see it into the poc variable so we define the variable poc with a proto containing the attribute pawn containing pony 
So let's execute the code to see how it works. Okay, you can see that at the end for the test, uh, I did a console.log to an empty object dot the attribute we define into the prototype called pound. And you can see that we have pony. And now you can see easily that we pull away the prototype. There is an important point into the challenge, which is that into the WAF section, we are not able to use underscore underscore proto. So we will have to find a bypass. So as we saw before into the challenge, we are not able to use underscore underscore proto because it's blocked into the WAF section. So we will have to find a trick to, to use something else. So in JavaScript, we can call constructor.prototype because the prototype are contained into the constructor. If we do a console.log of constructor, you will see that we, we will have object. And as in JavaScript, everything is an object, we will be able to call by this word prototype without using underscore underscore proto. We say that we want to go into the catch section because we have a level, so we want to execute some code by this function. So to be into the eval, we have to define the debug object of app config and the active attribute to true. And as you understood, we will be able to do it easily with the prototype pollution. As you understood, we will be able to redefine that by using the prototype pollution. What we can do? We can't call underscore underscore proto as we said before, so we will have to use constructor with prototype as the example we talked just before. Per before accessing to the cache port, we need to have a new one. What we can do to be into the catch section? So if we have a look to the first condition into the, the try, we can see that the function to the call string is called. So in JavaScript, we are able to redefine all function with whatever we want, which means that I can basically redefine the to the call string function to a boolean, a string or whatever different than a function to make it crash. For the final payload, I'm gonna use the constructor prototype as we said before. I'm gonna redefine the to look a string function to a string to have an error and I'm gonna redefine debug with active to true and I will define code with whatever I want to have my code execution. If we have a look to the description of the challenge, we can see that the flag is located into environment variable flag. Yeah, we're just gonna use the process that and function of Nodjs with flag. And now we have our full payload and ta-da! We flagged the challenge by this way. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned about prototype pollution. It's not super easy because you will need to understand and to know how JavaScript is working and you will need to understand how object, function, etc. are working too. Thanks for watching! I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any kind of recommendation, feel free to contact or just to send the comments. And yeah, if you have any question, feel free to. I hope you enjoyed and See ya!